Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank and today I am checking out uh, some new Cartoni heads and tripod systems. I'm going to start with this one. This is the Focus 22. It handles a weight range of 7 to 49 pounds and it's a 100 millimeter ball level system. But to really appreciate it, I'm going to do this as a series of cutaways and then I'll show you the uh, tripod system that can be outfitted with it. To get started, I want to just put the head in profile to show you that uh, this is a 90 degree fluid head. So we do have 90 degree uh, tilt capability going for, and I have it as aft as well. My uh, panhandle is going to hit the, the tripod legs, but you can see uh, the angle that we can get on this. I'm going to bring it around and tilt down to the front just to show you a couple of features on the top of the fluid head. First of all, uh, we have these tapped holes. This will hold spare 3, 8, 16 and quarter 20 camera screws. That is really a uh, fantastic feature. Uh, always nice to have uh, standby extras because uh, you always need those at the worst possible time. It has a safety catch right here so uh, we cannot accidentally uh, release the camera. So it's a two-step process. We push in, swing it over, and it pops out. The camera plate is a European style. You can see the dovetail here and the same dovetail on this right here. So what that means is that uh, we can use all types of different uh, camera plates that are associated with uh, 100 millimeter fluid heads and they will snap in and register without any problem. I'm going to bring this around to this side so you can see uh, we have a balancing system. Uh, one of the nice things Cartoni did was they have put a scale on here, so it's quickly and easily uh, changed to different uh, balance points for different payloads on cameras. You know, one of the other nice things you could have on here is that, yeah, it's nice to have these registration numbers. You could also put a piece of tape here and you could label it, say like, you know, this is, uh, where my balance point with a prime lens is. This is my balance point with a zoom. Uh, it's got all those amenities built in to make it uh, fast and easy to adjust and rebalance the camera. We have rosettes on both sides, so we can have single or dual pan handle operation. And we have what I like to call the influence infinite adjustment for tilt and for your pan as well as your counterbalance and so it simply means that there's no hard click stops here we simply uh, run the uh, tilt drag until we get to a resistance mode that is uh, you know, appropriate for the payload and for the type of shot we're going to get. I want to get a little tighter on the uh, pan adjustment because you can see that it has these nice raised surface here. That's really great in cold weather. You're wearing gloves. Uh, it gives you the ability to have a nice sure grip on this thing. And the scaling gives you a nice reference as to how much uh, pan drag you're engaging. Quick wing lock right there, so quick operation. We have a spirit level up here, and this is the uh, button that you push to illuminate it. A uh, little battery compartment right under here for replacing the battery. And you can also notice right over here, uh, this is our counterbalance. And again, this is what I like to call the infinite adjustment, meaning that uh, there's no hard stops for it. We simply dial in the amount of counterbalance that we see that is appropriate for the payload of camera that we're operating with. Got a bit of an unusual angle here, but the reason why I've uh, done this is because I want to demonstrate uh, this mid-level uh, spreader technology from Cartoni. This is a smart lock spreader system. It's on their uh, two-stage aluminum legs that I have it on right now that is part of a system that can be purchased with the Focus 22. The really interesting thing about these spreaders is that, first of all, uh, Notice if I tug on the leg right now, it stays nice and steady. I'm going to push in on the release and it allows me to bring this expansion out. Really comes out far, almost to the point where once I have these expanded, I basically have baby legs. Two things really interesting about this design. First, you have this sort of leash right here. That allows me to quickly retract the legs together. And in this traditional setup, when you would have uh, spreaders uh, extended like this, you'd have to usually unlock them somehow, usually with a, a wing nut. 
and you'd have to bring them in and then tighten the wing nut back down again. Well, with this system, what I can do is I can literally just push on it. It retracts and it holds. So it's a very fast and easy way to be able to work very quickly and take advantage of the expansion capability of these spreaders to take your standard legs down to basically baby legs height. All right, so we're changing gears here, and now we're looking at the Cartoni Maxima 30. This is a newer version of the Maxima. Uh, it's a lighter one, uh, weighing in at 23 pounds, and it's got some of the same feature sets and a few enhancements. And again, best way to really appreciate uh, the design of this is to uh, show you some cutaway details. First, I want to talk about the panhandle. It has, uh, first, the head has a design, so it has uh, rosettes at four positions on the head. So we have two aft and two in the front. The panhandle is made in such a way that we have uh, different axis of adjustment. So we can adjust here, and we can adjust it here. And we can also loosen this front one and rotate it. So you can really swing this to any position uh, that is comfort comfortable for you. In addition to that, we also have the ability, because uh, this lower section has machined, and so it'll allow us to put accessories on there, such as uh, different types of microforce handles. You have several different options for uh, putting your camera onto the platform of the Maxima. Here is the uh, traditional Cartoni plate, which is a, you know, it is a dovetail, as you can see. So it will go in and it clips in. I lock it and then I can go in and I can release to position one, move this back and forth. When I get to my balance point, I lock it in and the little lock knob here uh, prevents that from inadvertently being changed. Now this is the kind of the more traditional plate that we see them from Cartoni, the 3816s, lots of places to put it in. So we can release our camera pretty quickly, or the whole plate goes with it. An alternative now is we can use sort of this European style plate. So I put that in, that locks in. I still have the ability to move my balance point get my camera centered, lock it in. Only now I can push in on this and now I can release and my camera plate pops out. So now it's a touch and go platform, makes it quick and easy to operate and get your camera on and off the plate. From operator's point of view, I wanna point out this lever here before I move over to the operator side of this head. You have a lever right here and what that is, is this is the release uh, for the auto lock. So it's a great feature because what it allows me to do is to lock this head. So if I'm changing uh, a big lens on a camera, for instance, uh, this pin locks in the tilt position. It can't slide on me. Uh, when I'm ready to unlock, I just push in and away it goes. I'm gonna move over to this side. We have a setup that is uh, pretty traditional for operators. Tilt lock, nice big tilt lock lever here, tilt lock or pan lock lever here, and my pan uh, drag lever right here, and eyepiece leveling uh, block, which ties down right here and allows me to have my eyepiece leveling rod attached to the head. Looking at the back of the Maxima, we have this information window. If I push power on, it illuminates the spirit level, but we also see the uh, resistance settings on our pan and tilt and our balance. So if I go in here and I start changing a value on my pan, you can see that that number changes. We also have the counterbalance right here, uh, which is a flip out lever. I change that value and when I want to release it, pull out and it goes back and gets out of my way. Looking at the front, we have these two locating pins here. Uh, that's so I can put a uh, front box bracket on here. So the front bracket goes on, ties down. And now I have the ability to put a front box uh, for different assistant accessories on the front of the head. So lastly, on this side, we have our control for our tilt drag. 
I also want to just note uh, that we have the conventional pan handle here. We also have this other grip over on here. This is really convenient uh, for all kinds of different circumstances. It just makes operating a little more steady. Uh, and I kind of feel like you just get better moves out of the fluid head in general, having two points of contact to initiate and stop a move. And while I'm on that point, I also wanted to note that the stops here for your tilt and for your pan are really nice and smooth. One of the things that I tend to do when I'm operating is to be locked off and then if I want to initiate a move or something's going to change in composition, I like to just gently deactivate it and now initiate or recompose my frame. On certain heads, when you do this, you may notice just a very slight change or bump in the frame. This is really smooth. Uh, it operates very nicely. It also helps me to feather in and stop on a move. So I put this onto one of our sliders and went in and shot some footage of a Stella just to see what I could get out of it. I was really happy with the performance on these. And that concludes my look at the Cartoni Focus and Maxima fluid head systems from Cartoni. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.